we're talking about knowledge of the future and movies. In this clip, I'll show a possible future predictive Easter egg. This is present in the movie Troll 1986. I believe it points to the Japanese animation, television series, and movies. Neon Genesis Evangelion, and this originated on TV in Japan in 1995. Fly Me to the Moon. This is a song written in 1954 by Bart Howard. Frank Sinatra recorded a version of this song and it was on his 1964 album It Might As Well Be Swing accompanied by Count Bassey. The music for the album was arranged by Quincy Jones. In 1995 the song was recorded and added as the ending theme to Neon Genesis Evangelion, Shinseki Evangelion. And this version was sung by Claire Littley, uh, Yoko Takahashi, and several voice actresses from Evangelion can be heard in the different versions of the song they use in the closing credits. Present in the cast of the movie Troll, 1986 is actor Michael Moriarty. He's also known for his work on the Law and Order television series. Recently I took a look at musician Frank Sinatra. Yeah, I recognized a likeness between Sinatra and Michael Moriarty. Then I remembered something interesting that's shown in the movie Troll. Now in Evangelion, there are several power items or power artifacts shown throughout the series and in the movies. One of these is the Lone Giant's Lance. And then I remembered this scene of Toward the closing of Troll. And it's when actress Jean Lockhart, who is Eunice St. Clair, she hands a spear or a lance to Harry Potter Jr. He's played by actor Noah Hathaway. And this is so he can defeat the troll who has taken up residence in his apartment block and went uh, room to room changing the residents and the tenants uh, into some kind of a troll creature. My YouTube channel is Easter Egg Psychic. There I go back and look at movies and television from the past. I analyze these for possible references to future media. These may appear in the form of anecdotes, idioms, anagrams, hidden in the subtext of the work in question. I also use an unconventional method where I look at the likenesses of the actors. And what I found is you can take the likenesses, match these up to some of the anecdotal items, and show past, present, and future information about actors and other personalities or may resemble the personalities in the movie or television episode that you're watching. My email contact is Easter Egg Guy, that's G U Y, at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.